YouTube. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> My bad, y'all. Like, I just like. Can I help you? Mommy, you and mommy are a lizard. TK, I'm not a lizard. I'm not a lizard. Yeah, I know I have this hat on you guys. I still have not decided what I want to do with my hair, but I have decided on the next couple of hairstyles. So here's the rundown real quick. I'm going to do a quick weave Friday, which you guys will get a video of. And then next week, I'm going to do a natural hair coloring video. Um, the reason why I'm doing it next week is because I want to make sure that I do these colors for Valentine's vlog. So, um... I'm going to stick with my red and pink, you guys, but I'm going to do it a different way and I'm going to be involving some bleach. So you guys will get to see that whole bleaching and recoloring process with me. I am going to leave some natural root in there just for the fact that I don't want it to be completely blonde like it was last time and add some type of difference in color. Um, so last time my, my hair was kind of reversed. So it was like the blonde to the to the dark pink and then to a lighter pink this time it's going to be my dark roots to um the lighter pink and then to the darker pink i think i'm going to section it off in three sections so the top the middle and then the very very back is going to be the darkest color and we're just going to color it like that <sighs> and then i'm going to wear my natural hair for about a week or so because you guys know i get tired of hairstyles so freaking easy and fast um and then i'm going to go ahead and do my black and and um silver crochet which will be perfect because like i was supposed to do that like i should have did it last week but i wasn't thinking but i'll do it this week and then we'll be ready to switch it up um other than that y'all today we are doing some shrimp and broccoli foil wraps um so just a rundown i buy these huge bags of shrimp from sam's but i only had one bag and i was like maybe i should get a second one just in case and i'm glad i did this is literally the one bag of shrimp so <laughs> So you got one unthawing in the sink as we speak. I just put water on it and it's like actually almost done. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let that unthaw. I'm going to come back. I'm going to clean it real quick and then we can get on with the recipe. Um, so I will see you guys soon. All right, guys. So now we are finally ready to start putting all of this stuff together. So for the most part, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil in this pot, cause this is where I'm going to be mixing up all of my seasonings and putting it on top of the shrimp and the broccoli mixture. Uh, so you'll need paprika, onion powder and you guys know I do not follow recipes to a tea so like literally um, the only seasoning that it really required was the paprika the onion powder the onion salt some red crushed pepper and um, salt and pepper so if you guys want to follow that recipe to a tea those are the ingredients you'll need for spices um, but if you want to follow my recipe, you are more than welcome because I like to make sure my stuff is completely seasoned. So there's the onion powder. We 
Got our pepper. We have crushed pepper. Oops. That's going to make it spicy for real, for real. Um, some Italian seasoning. Forgot that that did not have the little top on it, y'all. And I just poured all of that in there. Um, some slap your mama. Uh, that was the garlic salt. Some actual garlic. We're just going to go ahead and dump all of this in there. If I can get it. There we go. Some lemon juice. And either chicken or vegetable broth, you yeah, guys. Whichever one you guys prefer. Right. And did I, I did not put my, did I put my Creole in there? I did not put my Creole in there. Where is it? Oh, it's right here. Forgot you guys. Cannot without this. And then I'm just going to mix all these ingredients in together. And then we're going to take our freshly drained shrimp and we're going to throw that in the mixture. I know you guys, it's a lot of shrimp. Toss with that around. And then we're gonna turn around and we're gonna do the same exact thing for our broccoli. And you guys know me, I just have to be extra. So not only am I just doing the broccoli, but I did find a pepper and onion mix that I'm gonna add to this recipe as well. So we are going to be doing that too. So now I'm actually going to start putting these on my sheets. If I can't, I did. I used up all the garlic. Put this here because I used that for TK's chicken. Yes, you guys, he wants chicken again this weekend. So it's been three back to back weekends. I'll make me some chicken drumsticks for him. Um, but I guess I really sh couldn't, shouldn't be complaining considering that he's actually eating something cooked for a change more more often than usual. So that's definitely a plus. Um, it does bother me though that he didn't want anything while we were out considering he hasn't had anything for like lunch or anything. He just wanted the chicken. So I am a little upset because I feel... Like he should have ate something ahead of time, but um, just hoping that this actually cooks, this chicken cooks faster than normal because of the fact that I know he's hungry. So we're going to put a good thing of shrimp on each of these foils and I'm just going to slide this one out the way. And my throat process is to do at least five foil packs. Um, if I manage to do more, so be it. But five is the goal, you guys. And we're going to do another mixture real quick. So, some more olive oil. They want you to make this recipe with butter, but I'm taking the healthier route by using olive oil, you guys. So if you want to use butter, feel free. You can um, mix the shrimp and stuff 
in the direct seasoning and then once you get all of the seasoning mixed up you can just add some butter on top of your foil pack so that it melts while it's cooking but me i just feel like this coats it better broccoli which has been unsalty throw our broccoli in all right so i'm gonna have to do two things of broccoli some more right on top and then some Italian seasoning right on top still see mommy alright and we are going to wrap these you guys TJ can I help you so both hands and so I'm gonna do that to each of these and then put them in the oven and we'll be, we be we will be back you guys to show the finished product. So see you soon. Alrighty, so the foil wraps are done, you guys. This is what it looks like. Completely done. So I did go ahead and add two hard boiled eggs because I had just boiled some um two days ago and I really don't like using eggs Mom, four or five days after <laughs> TK I know it's cooling off what are you? four and five days off TK that's hot four what and five days after watch? the fact so it is currently two of them in my bowl you guys um so that is pretty much it for this video really easy peasy um really easy to put together not too much trouble at all just a matter of mixing and putting together um so let me know what you guys think about this recipe let me know if you tried it um what your thought process was i did try a piece of my shrimp it's like really spicy i guess i put too much red pepper flakes in it but it works for me it works <laughs> so until next time you guys i will see you peace out